First International Barcelona ends, second international against 15,707 pigeons, 2018. Fifth Barcelona International 2022 with the distance of 1,033.767 km, speed, 890.53 against 16,897 pigeons. In one of the suburbs, hidden and in all simplicity, we find Joost Smeter. A passion for pigeons since childhood. Initially opposed by his parents in the pigeon game, Joost started racing at a certain moment, but he was never able to get rid of the pigeon micro. Rescued de Smeter from Melden at Art. Joost de Smeter forms a tandem with his mother Rosa Rescian. Joost's uncle is Jan Rescian, who forms a tandem with Johan de Smeter. Joost's father. Just as the increase in scale is felt everywhere in our society, these fanciers have immediately developed a healthy vision by investing in the future together. They have the entire breeding loft in common. The first round goes to Joost, the second round goes to Jan, in this way, two lofts can reap the benefits of joint investments, joint follow-up of results, experiments with regard to coupling and the like. And they prove that they succeed at the Desmater and Restian house. Joost de Smeter came into contact with the pigeon sport at an early age. Although his parents originally tried to steer him in other directions, so he concentrated on cycling for a while and with success. Joost was not just any old opportunist, quite the contrary, he is a man who is not afraid of hard work, who goes for it, who wants to win. It wasn't long before Joost belonged to the real toppers of his class, which a certain Frank Vandenbrouw was also a part of at the time, driven just wanting to be with the best. Nothing wrong with this of course, quite the contrary. Until one day fate struck, and a serious accident put an end to his cycling dream. After a serious operation and a long rehabilitation, it turned out that Joost didn't have enough power in the legs for climbing and picking up speed to be able to compete with the best at the highest level. Which took him directly from prospective topper to between ordinary mortals. This was not to the liking and character of Joost, who could no longer realize his winner's mentality through this physical handicap, and was so forced to give up his cycling. The only consolation perhaps was the fact that he could still teach in the cycling school of Reims, where he coached and trained the young cycling talent for more than 12 years. You never forget your first love, so as the saying goes and when Joost literally and constrainedly hung up his bike, he directly threw himself into his first love, the pigeon sport. With the same passion as with which he approached his cycling career, with the ultimate goal of winning. With an unlimited curiosity to test the theory with reality, we saw Joost with his then-girlfriend and current wife Elsie visiting many pigeon auctions, not only to purchase top pigeons when the opportunity arose but with the aim of discovering the quality of real top pigeons. Learning to feel, observing, and admiring which qualities a pigeon had to possess in order to have a chance of growing into a real topper, to a real crack and for this, the practice is still the best school of learning. In the meantime, Joost also visited several toppers and formed an image as to which specific, and especially, physical appearances attribute the ideal long-distance pigeon, the real marathon racer has to possess to become a real topper in the long-distance and overnight long-distance the chosen work area of the Desmaderestian pigeons. The Joost Pigeon. Prior to his exploits from Perpignan, before being transferred to Brussagem to the colony of Eric Limborg, where he grew to be a wondrous super breeder. Joost de Smeter bred many descendants from him, which up to the present still lie at the basis of the top successes which are recorded in the lofts in Melden. The fact that the Joost is no ordinary pigeon. He is proven in the anthology of top performances with which his direct descendants have submerged the pigeon world. Joost can always rely on the welcome help of his uncle Jan for taking care of the colony. He lets the youngsters out in the early afternoon and takes care of them. This means that the youngsters train better and can be taught to race on time. Definitely an advantage over letting them out in the late afternoon and evening after work so as Joost would otherwise have to do. The Smederestian colony is quite large at the moment, but according to Joost, this is quite normal for people who race long distances and extremely long distances. Since the majority of the pigeons can only really be judged when they are three years old or older. Say, when the pigeons are at full power, 
and when they have gained enough race experience in order to have some sort of regularity in their performance rhythm. Look, says Yost, a two or three year old sometimes takes the wrong course in its youthful enthusiasm. Going on full power with the wrong group. You don't see that as often by the old hands. They take more care, especially when the kilometers start to come. Here is just like everywhere else entering and testing. But in the grand distance, it takes three years before you know what your pigeons are capable of. This is in contrast to the sprint, where, as a youngster or finally as a yearling, you know what your pigeons can or cannot do. Outside the selection in the hand and the freshness by the homecoming. You have to have more patience with the pigeons for the grand distance. That's why here in Meldon chose to race all our pigeons where possible, both cocks and hens. A tough selection that always pays off in the end. Simply because in this way you soon separate the wheat from the chaff. Only the old hens race with the nest. They are basket for Barcelona with small youngsters, and for Perpignan when brooding for roughly 10 days. The yearling hens are coupled with the old widowers and so raced according to the system of total widowhood. They are coupled before the season and produce a nest. Then they go into widowhood. The yearling cocks still raise celibatarian. 200 youngsters are ringed for their own use every year. They are not darkened and normally don't produce a nest and they are free to go into each other's loft. We try to train them for the races as much as possible, says Yost and certainly make them do one national race for youngsters. Usually, the national bourge is ideal for their racing routine at a later age. These youngsters mainly stem from a few toppers that reside in the breeding boxes. There is a total of 14 boxes for this purpose. To earn his place in a breeding box such a breeding pigeon has to have at least, one produced one pigeon which has won the top 10 national and at least a second pigeon that has won the top 100 national. We can conclude that the old stock by the Smaterestion is ready. On yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah Push and pull and repel any hate, go create what you want, feel compelled, yeah And once you finally get a taste of the race, you'll never look back once you felt that Don't let somebody take your time and your work, just focus on yourself Others way before myself, yeah I guess that's why I feel like I go through hell, damn Wasting time on your dreams instead of mine, yeah About to turn this franchise around on a dime, man It's all about finding your right state of mind It's all about turning the worst into fine It's all about time and the work and the climb From the thirst we will rise, I'm immersed in this life Don't let somebody take your time and your worth Just focus on yourself first Don't let somebody take your time and your worth Just focus on yourself first don't let somebody take your time and your worth Just focus on yourself first Don't let somebody take your time and your worth Just focus on yourself first